welcome to uh, day five. I'm just uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Just departed uh, the La Vici Hotel, um, and I think it's about three kilometres flat on this road until I start making a, a thousand metre ascent. Um, so today, today's uh, a bit bigger than yesterday. Um, I'm hiking all the way to Le Fouli in Switzerland, so I cross over from Italy to Switzerland. <coughs> um, at the hotel, they provided a packed lunch. Uh, I think it was 13 euros. Um, so <coughs> I've got plenty of supplies today for, for my energy. Legs, my calves are tight. Um, I've been, uh, continued wearing my compression socks, slept in them again. Um, they I think they help a bit. Uh, and I might pop some uh, ibuprofen in a minute uh, to uh, take the edge off the soreness, but overall feeling quite good. Um, so, three more days to go. Uh, so I've just come to this point and the route that I've got in my watch is telling me to continue up the road uh, but there is a sign um, that's to Refugio uh, Bonatti which is uh, one of the refugees on the trail um, I think it's quite famous as well for some reason so I'm gonna I'm gonna go the alternative route to my watch and uh, jump back on the TMB path. There was a really big storm last night. So it rained, there was a lot of lightning, thunder. Uh, so this morning, the path is very wet, but this section has, uh, is quite rocky and lots of stones. So not bad bit of grip. Um, One advantage of starting in the morning at seven or eight is there's absolutely nobody as well. Um, certainly since I've been in Italy, ever since I would say uh, Refugio Elisabetta, it's been much busier. Um, yeah, I definitely found the path is much more popular than uh, when I'd experienced the other two days. Uh, <coughs> but I think mainly that's to do with getting out early um, and then you can enjoy the path to yourself if, uh, if you so wish. Uh, but I quite like um, seeing people along the way, talking to people. Um, you know, everyone's got a story to tell. Everyone's here for one reason or another. Uh, so that's where I get a lot of my energy as well. Motivated by hearing other people's stories. And uh, yeah, I think, I think we all motivate each other um, because you can go to some quite dark places uh, on this. I mean, I've met quite a few people on the on the uh, trail that take public transport they they give up they don't have the energy in their legs so they'll cut a section out and get a, a bus for a few kilometers uh, to save their energy I mean this morning I was sat eating breakfast with uh, 
a couple from Denmark and uh, yeah the the lady she had a swollen ankle she said it didn't hurt but there was swelling and when she put the boots on then it hurt so uh, they were going to take the bus from Levici down to Kumaya. I mean you know that saves a whole day for a 30 minute bus ride um, if you were to hike it like I did yesterday coming in from the other direction it uh, well it took me about six hours seven hours so yeah uh, so it depends on your circumstances I guess but for me taking public transport is not an option kind of defeats the object of uh, of what the goal is to hike the TMB the full 106 miles or 170 kilometers around the Mont Blanc Massif Mont Blanc Massif yeah I can't talk this morning I'm really tired one thing is I'm really struggling to sleep um, it may be to do with the uh, red wine I've been drinking a lot of Italian red wine which is good but yeah it dehydrates me and it disrupts my sleep also the storm kept me awake as well last night um, but yeah when I go to sleep my brain's really active maybe uh, like replaying the day in my head rushing on adrenaline as well uh, and uh, yeah also wondering how my body's going to react in the morning what condition I'm going to be in so. But, so far so good just stopped at Refugio Bonatti it's a really impressive uh, refuge or refugio look at the scene pretty spectacular and they serve really good coffee for two euros Americana so, good uh, fuel it's about an hour it took me about an hour to get from uh, Levici up to Refuge Bonatti uh, or Refugio Bonatti sorry I keep making the mistake it's so confusing going from France to Italy anyway I asked the guy behind the counter how long it should take me to get to La Fuli and he said five five and a half hours um, but in the middle between here and La Fuli is another refugio <laughs> um, which is Refugio Elena or Elena uh, so I set my timer it's about 9am I set my timer for 2.30 uh, see if I can beat that um, that's what the sign said as well so I like to play the little game of uh, beating what the sign says as a bit of a target I try and do it like uh, including a break so maybe I'll have a little break on the way um, but we'll see how I get on it's a bit of climbing to do from uh, from that refugia uh, you can see where I'm headed so yeah I guess up here go around here and then uh, oh actually <laughs> oh, I never know maybe it's uh, over the other side of this but anyway I'm gonna crack on I don't know what I've done but I was just trying to be showy and uh, record myself running over the bridge 
and now my left calf is completely knotted up and quite sore so now I'm limping <laughs> so uh, that was a short lived run uh, and now it's a bit of a climb so uh, yeah gonna limp <laughs> up here I guess um, I've just had uh, some salts like the hydration tablets put that in some, put it in some water uh, see if that helps um, and stretched out a little bit but yeah it's sore <laughs> so hopefully it wears off if I warm up again My, my Swiss friends, <laughs> how are you? Fine. Fine. So, uh, yeah, we meet again. Hello. That's the great thing about the trail. Uh, hi, thanks. Uh, yeah, the great thing about the trail is you keep uh, bumping into everyone. Uh, these guys are great. It's their last day today. So, uh, nearly finished for them. They started uh, just before La Fully. So, oh, sorry, my camera. But they were running. And I don't think I can run because my legs are sore. Look at the. Uh, so here we have some uh, transportation. to eat. Uh, I said farewell to the uh, Swiss again because they, uh, they wanted to leave. I uh, also sat with a Irish couple from uh, Tipperary that I, I met yesterday I think or the day before. Um, but I'm suffering with my leg a bit, uh, my left calf. I suspect I've got a slight tear. Sorry, it's a bit, a bit windy. Um, I've taken my second dose of 400 milligrams of ibuprofen and I'm wearing my compression socks. But I'm just taking it really steady because, uh, yeah, it's, it's sore. 
my, my calves are pumped um, so I can yeah I can really feel the uh, the tightness so just slow and steady up to the coal coal foray I think it's called over into the Swiss, uh, over onto the Swiss border so let's see how we get on another 400 meters to climb So I've just ascended to the uh, Grand Col Foray, uh, really big climb, you can see I'm at uh, 2,490 meters, buongiorno, <laughs> and uh, yeah, looking forward to going a bit flat now. After Grand Col for a the uh, descent is quite nice actually. You can sort of just roll down, jog a little bit. It gets a little bit. It's just rolling hills uh, and uh, some flat as well. Uh, beautiful scenery up in the clouds and the mountains. Really special. Some of the guys making their way down. So I just met a girl, um, I didn't take her name, but uh, if you're watching, hi. Uh, so, girl from Scotland who's doing the TMB in four days. So, absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so she she's on her third day today. Uh, so this is my fifth day. So, yeah, she's covering some ground all right um, on her journey. And she's also raising uh, money for uh, women in sport charity uh, so good luck to her um, and if you're watching send me the link and I can uh, I can share that on my social media as well to try and get you some donations Bonjour. Bonjour. <coughs> anyway back to the descent just finishing the descent after Grand Col Foray and uh, it's always very welcoming when you see this in the distance. Kick your legs! <laughs> so tell us the story again, briefly. Oh sure. Um, okay. So um, my family uh, is part of a study at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota um, because my grandma was born into a family of 19 kids, and all of the women over 60 have signs of Alzheimer's. So my grandma personally has had Alzheimer's for about 12 years, and she's in memory care. Um, so this is really important to me and close to my heart. So I appreciate what you're doing. <laughs> oh, oh, bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. This is a machine. Look at these legs. <laughs> <laughs> 